Hello everyone, once again it's me, Irele Matanomran, and this is Verse Breakdown. The verse that I want to discuss today is Matthew chapter 6, verse 12, which reads, And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Naturally, this verse is about forgiveness, so that's the topic I want to look at. To know how we can be forgiven, we have to know what we are being forgiven from, and that is sin. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Psalms chapter 51 verse 5. Humanity is very sinful, and that is a result of one man's actions. By one man's disobedience were many made sinners. Romans chapter 5 verse 19. In Genesis chapter 3 verses 1 to 6, even after being warned by God on what not to do in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and they brought death upon themselves. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it wast thou taken, for dust thou art, and on to dust shalt thou return. Genesis chapter 3 verse 19. Even though we've been given our punishment of death, God was still interested in giving us a second chance, so that's where Jesus came in. Jesus is a very forgiving person. That was his whole mission on earth. They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mark chapter 2, verse 17. Jesus was so forgiving, in fact, that he forgave the people who wanted to kill him and who succeeded in doing so. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. However, one of the most significant things that Jesus ever spoke about considering forgiveness can be found in Matthew chapter 18, verses 23 to 34. The story of the unforgiving servant. A king had a servant with an enormous debt that he simply couldn't pay. So he begged for mercy, and the king forgave him of his debt. His debt was millions of dollars. But when that same servant met one of his own underlings, who owed him a few dollars, he wouldn't forget, and he threw him in jail. And when the king heard about this, he had a natural response. He called the original servant and said that because you couldn't forgive, then you will have to go to jail too, until you have paid every last penny of your debt. The moral of this story is actually the verse I'm discussing. We can't be forgiven by God unless we forgive the people around us. And those same people can't be forgiven by us unless they repent. Luke chapter 17 verses 3 to 4. Now, why am I saying all this about Jesus? He undertook the most painful of experiences in order to give us that forgiveness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 3 verse 16. If we forsake all of our sins and the cares of this life, according to Luke chapter 10 verse 28, and we serve God faithfully, not just with our lips, according to Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, then God will actually be willing to forgive us of our sins. He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Jesus' sacrifice is an entry point, so naturally we have to believe in that first, but after that, we have to serve God faithfully. Yes, there will be sinners who are prospering, while we are going through temptations to serve God. The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they that provoke God are secure. 
into whose hand God bringeth abundantly. Job chapter 12 verse 6. However, while we will get to enjoy eternal life on earth, the wicked will have to suffer death, according to Psalms chapter 9 verse 17. And that is where I think I can stop in discussing the verse, Matthew chapter 6 verse 12, which once again reads, And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please share to others. Thank you for listening.